Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about using the native features that are built into Google Meet in order to be able to see more of your students on screen at one time. Now the reason we're talking about this is we know many teachers have been using different Chrome extensions. They're usually called Google Meet Grid View or Google Meet Grid View Fix or New or something like that to be able to see all the students at once. And we even were recommending those back at the beginning of distance learning when Meet only allowed you to see up to 16 camera feeds on your screen at once. These Chrome extensions are no longer necessary because this is now a first party feature built into Meet itself. So we don't need those third party extensions. But the other thing that you will have noticed is that many of them, like you see on my screen right now, have been breaking recently and are no longer working. They're showing you kind of in strips. In fact, some developers, I know the Google Meet Grid View fix one, um, some developers have even been taking their extensions down and removing them from the store because there's no need for the extensions anymore and they can't keep up with developing them, especially as Meet continues to change and evolve. So if you're still using a 30 third party extension, we're gonna recommend uh, uninstalling that from Meet and I'll show you how to do that here at the end of the video. And we're going to recommend that you disable all of your um, grid view Chrome extensions and you switch just to the native features instead. So I've disabled this. You'll see I'm in a grid where you can see all three people in my meeting. But what if I had a session right now with, you know, 30, 35, heck, 45 people in my meeting? How could I see everybody at once? It's now built into Meet. All you have to do is head down to the jelly bean button in the bottom right hand corner, tap that, you're then going to head up to change layout. You're probably going to want the tiled layout so that you can see the grid of everybody. And then you'll notice down here at the bottom that you have a slider. Now, if your slider is set on 16 right now, that means the max you're ever able to see are 16 camera feeds at once. But you can drag this thing up to 30 or 42 or even 49 camera feeds at once. And if I do that, then I'll be able to see up to 49 students all at once when we're doing like morning announcements and, and meeting notes and and hosting class discussions and things like that. The other thing that you can do in Google Meet is if you head up to the upper right hand corner where you've got that really tiny thumbnail of yourself, there's a button up there that allows you to add yourself as a tile into the, the grid or remove yourself. So right now I'm in here, I'm gonna click remove tile. You'll see I no longer see myself in the matrix. And if I click it again, I'm added back in. So if you wanna see yourself or don't wanna see yourself, that's where you can toggle those things on or off. So for class discussions um, and open conversations, this is the way to go. Now, I do understand when we're presenting, it's nice as a teacher to be able to present and then quickly be able to go back and see all of my students. Neither Zoom nor Meet were really built to enable you to do this. Remember, these things are built for business. And so very much what they assume is you're either wanting to talk to everybody in the meeting or you're wanting to share your slide deck with everybody and do your presentation. But as a teacher, if I click present now and I present to you one of the tabs that I have open, um, what I can do is I can show everybody what's on this tab and then I can just tap over here to Google Meet and jump back and see my students. Now, how many of your students can you see here depends on a couple of things. It depends on where your tile slider is. It also depends on whether you've got one monitor or two, how big your screen resolution is, how big you make your window. So we recommend if you're trying to see all of your students at once, make your window as large as you can so that it takes up the whole computer monitor. You may be surprised how many students you can see at once over here. But if you want to see even more, one little trick that you can do is go up in Chrome to the jelly bean button in the upper right hand corner, tap that. Then on the zoom buttons, go ahead and start clicking the zoom out. And you'll notice what happens is this little portion over here that says you're presenting to everyone gets smaller and smaller and smaller and more and more of my screen real estate can be dedicated to um, showing people from class. So you might want to try that if you've got a large class and you're trying to see everybody at once. That might be kind of a nice little way to do that. All right, so I'm going to uh, stop presenting now and I wanna jump back over and I wanna mention how to get rid of all of those old expired extensions that are no longer being supported by the developers anymore. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to um, your Chrome extension inventory list. And the way you're gonna find that is go to the upper right hand corner of the Chrome web browser, look for this puzzle piece icon. That's where all of your extensions live. And in this list, you're gonna to wanna to scroll through and you're gonna to wanna to look for any extensions that uh, have to do with the grid view extension. And so if you find that, I don't have it installed anymore, but if I had it over here, all I would have to do is click the jelly bean button and go down to remove from Chrome and it would remove those broken Chrome extensions. 
so that they're not cluttering up um, my interface and so that they're not interfering with the way that Google Meet works. So that's it. You can now do almost everything you used to do natively within Meet without any of those third-party extensions that seem to be breaking all the time. We hope this video helps. Thanks, everybody.